Hey guys, my name is Christian. Hopefully you are all doing well. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at this. The Head Type 20 Mark IIs are a compact three-way speaker system with some very interesting features. The head lineup uses their own handmade AMT tweeter and the Type 20 also have a 4 and 7 inch honeycomb woofer. The Type 20 weighs in at 15.4 kilos. The linerizer is an optional integrated DSP system that face aligns the frequency spectrum. This will improve the transient response and overall stereo image quality. New for the Mark II series is that you have the option to use the speakers in ported or closed mode. The ported mode gives you an impressive bass extension, while the closed mode will improve the transient response and will give you a more focused and precise stereo image. The Head Mark II series are available in three different sizes and two different colors, and the Head Type 20 Mark IIs comes in at 1,999 euros. Alright, so today I'm going to show you two different mixes that I've done using the heads. It's going to be an acoustic mix and also a rock mix with real drums, bass and distorted guitars. It's just a whole another beast to tame with all that mid information. And after that I'm going to move on to more of a traditional style review. But first I want to talk a little bit about my speaker philosophy. I've been doing this for well over 10, 12 years now. And when I had my commercial studio, I was doing mainly metal and I worked with a few bands that were signed on the big metal labels. Here on my own channel, I've been doing the acoustic stuff that you probably heard if you've been here before. But the thing is, when you've been doing this for a long time, you do things intuitively. And what I mean with that is that I only mix to the point where it sounds good on my speaker system. And that also means that the speakers dictate the end result. And although I've been fairly happy with my mixes these last couple of years, there's definitely a few pitfalls that I tend to fall into. And I've been suspecting that investing in a pair of nice speakers would improve my mixes more than any microphone or compressor or hardware EQ would. So with that said, let's listen to my two examples and then I'll come back here and give you my thoughts and impressions on how it was to use the Head Type 20 Mark IIs. Sweetness, will you open your arms and welcome me again? Take my hand and guide me into a shimmering domain. To get the best of me, to get the best of you, to get the best of us, take so. Alright, so those were my two examples. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. The acoustic song is a recent production of mine that I did for the Sandhill 1619A episode. And if you're not uh, used to recording acoustic guitar, I can't really stress enough how hard it actually is to make an acoustic based song sound so fat, crisp and clear. So I am extremely happy with the outcome of that mix. 
The Rock Mix is an old production of mine that I probably did 5-6 years ago, you know, but Rock is a completely different thing to mix with all that mid information and I'm very happy with the outcome of that mix. The low end bass and kick really thumps and I think the overall separation and, and crispness of the mix sounds quite nice. I'd love to hear what you guys thought about my two mix examples and uh, with that said let's move on to the review. So head speakers use their own AMT tweeter and head themselves states that the AMT tweeter will give you an extended top end and that is something that I immediately picked up the first time that I fired up the speakers and you might ask yourself do we really need to hear that 10, 12, even 14 kilohertz? Well mixing is really about laying down a puzzle and if you boost a certain instrument at that range that will affect everything else so if you want a good sounding mix you really need to nail the whole frequency spectrum but you can't really nail something that you can't hear so I've been really enjoying that extension in the top end. The mid resolution is pretty insane, everything is clear and crisp and a good sounding mix will sound very balanced, very up close and intimate on these speakers and I did not really have to learn these speakers, I just went with my gut feeling and I think that it has been translating very well on other speaker systems. Moving from a two-way system to this three-way system, I could definitely hear that low-end extension and I think my mix examples shows that it's very easy to make those crucial low-end decisions. I'd suspect though if you are into very bass-heavy music, EDM and such, you probably want to add a subwoofer, but for my personal preference and usage, I think the low-end is just where I want it to be. The linerizer is an optional DSP based feature which will phase line the whole frequency spectrum and to explain this in a very simple way, low end frequencies travel slower than mid and high frequencies so the linerizer time aligns those to make the whole frequency spectrum come into phase. And to my ears that improves the transient response and makes these awesome speakers even better. It makes you come even closer to the music and it feels a bit easier to make those crucial mix decisions. It comes with a time penalty of around 10 milliseconds but if you are mixing and mastering I really see no point in not using this mode because it really improves the overall quality of the speakers. A new feature for the Mark II series is that we have the option to use these speakers in closed or in ported mode. There are both pros and cons for each of these modes. The ported mode will give you a low end extension and I've been really enjoying that low end thump when I've been listening and producing music. It's very easy to switch to the closed mode, you just push in the included plugs and switch on the back plate of the speakers and you are ready to go within a couple of minutes. The closed mode feels a bit more focused, the transient response improves and I do think that it's a bit easier to make those crucial mix decisions. So when I've been mixing and mastering this is definitely the mode that I've been preferring. But since it's so easy to switch between these two modes, we basically get two speakers in one which is a very nice feature. So this journey basically confirms my suspicion that moving on to speakers of this caliber would improve my mixes. I've been really enjoying using these speakers. The only negative thing is that I probably have to sell a few things to be able to afford these speakers. But I do think they are priced very competitively looking at the competition. They have the bigger 30s and also the smaller two-way speakers that are very affordable looking at the overall quality and the included features. But speakers are very subjective so if you have the opportunity try out the pair for yourself and hopefully you'll be just as impressed as I've been using the Head Type 20 Mark IIs. Alright so that is really it for today's episode. If you like this kind of content hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you guys around.